two words important in electricity are conductors and insulators. What do they mean? Well, a conductor is anything that can carry electric currents through it, like a metal. All conductors and metals, for example, have free charges on them that can move around, and that's what lets the electric current flow through them. Insulators, an insulator is anything that won't carry a current. For example, pure or distilled water is an insulator. Mm. But if we add salt to pure water, then it becomes a conductor. What happens is that the salt particles, when we put them in the water, break up into positive and negative charges, and then the positives can move one way and the negatives move the other way, and that's what lets the current flow through water. Okay, how does this experiment here work? Well, we've got a circuit here. It starts really with the plug. All plugs have two pins on them, which we're going to plug into the socket in a moment. And from one of them comes one of the wires, and the wire goes along here and into the bulb out of the bulb and on into this wire here, from this wire to a metal plate, and then it's going to have to flow across the water to the other plate and onto that plug, back all the way to the second pin of the original plug. Completing the circuit. Except that this is pure water, so it won't carry a current. So when we plug in, the light bulb won't light up. Shall we give it a try? So the bulb doesn't light up because the water is not a conductor. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like to add the salt to the water, then it'll become a conductor. Let's see. There it goes. Now we've got a conductor here, so the current can flow and it lights up the light bulb.